Europe's cultural sector is something to be proud of. From centuries of creative and artistic heritage to world-class contemporary artwork, music, films and books. But these days, staying ahead of the game means responding to digital realities. For this sector, as far as for so many, the internet and new technology bring a revolution in how people create, distribute and enjoy culture. And new technology can help this sector innovate and grow for the long term. Our first challenge is to get people online, to get every European digital. First, everyone needs to be included, with no one shut out by age, education or status. Yet today, around one in four Europeans have never used the internet. And second, everyone in Europe should have access to have fast broadband connections. That's right at the center of our digital agenda for Europe. We have put billions of euros on the table through the Connecting Europe facility. If agreed, that could crowd in private finance and connect tens of millions more households. And the third step to get every European digital is to draw people in with great online content, including the best cultural material. Our continent's rich cultural heritage is one of our most valuable assets. Digitization, it gives it a boost preserving it for future generations and making it accessible to a new audience. After all, for many of today's digital natives, if it isn't online, it doesn't exist. Many of you will be aware of our flagship digitization project, Europeana. This online portal gives access to over 23 million digitized objects from museums and archives across Europe including British works from Shakespeare's first folio and Newton's Principia to Damien Hirst. Thanks to the hard work of many institutions, Europeana has become the most comprehensive and dynamic collection of European cultural heritage anywhere online. But digitization isn't just about preserving material and making it available. Being online can make content interactive, which can create new inspirations, stimulate new ideas and add new cultural and economic value. New ideas like apps and mashups are, an, are opening up new opportunities for entrepreneurship and job creation. And that is why we are working to promote open licensing and open data. Our legal proposal on public sector information would unlock a goldmine opening up not just cultural data, but all data from publicly funded bodies. And I also fully support Europeana's efforts to build common metadata standards for digital archives and their pioneering use of open software. All in all, those initiatives will maximize how we can use and reuse cultural data. Of course, it will take some doing. It needs all levels of government to commit strongly. It needs collaboration with the private sector and it needs cultural institutions to adapt to digital challenges. But I'm confident that our efforts will open up new opportunities for our cultural sector and for those who work in it. By making it easier to engage with cultural online, we can stimulate innovation. We we can sharpen our competitive edge and we can help our cultural sector keep its proud place on the world stage. So let's embrace open culture and then Europe can continue to do just as well in the cultural Olympiad as we will in the Olympics and bring home a fine range of gold medals. Thank you.